Yeah. Hey everybody, Prepper Nurse One here. Today is September 5th. It is Saturday, 2020. <sighs> Sorry, I'm sucking wind a little bit. Um, today, uh, Brian is coming up and we're gonna be doing the electrical. So one of the things that we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be switching this wire out, that's what we've been using right now, above ground. Uh, we have the underground wire that is gonna go in. So I've started digging the trench. So I figure I will dig all the way through. I obviously have to go deeper yet. So I figure I'll get the initial trench done and then I will come back and go a little bit deeper. So, but, uh, so that's my fun, exciting thing. And I know everybody's gonna say, why did you not rent a trenching tool? Well, I just, you know, again, I don't mind the physical labor of it. Uh, so you just have to pace yourself and do what you can do. Now we started out this morning, it was beautifully sunny. It was absolutely gorgeous. And I was like, wow, we're gonna have a great power day. And now, the clouds have come. Uh, we did get sprinkled on a little bit earlier. And uh, so, <laughs> I don't know if the rain's gonna hold off or not. It's, uh, it's so weird. I mean, it literally was just, it was clear, si clear skies and sunny uh, just two hours ago. And uh, so, who knows? But anyway, now it's starting to sprinkle a little bit right now. But, uh, so this is my project. Um, like I said, they're gonna be here around three o'clock. So right now it's about 12.30. So I figure what I have to do, I have to dig this trench this way here. And I kind of cleared the rocks out of the way so uh, I can recover them. Go through here and inside. Now what I have to watch out for, so just so you guys know what uh, um, what's going on. The propane line is underground. It comes out, it runs this way. So here's like part of um, the old pad was here. Uh, for where the camper was here, okay, so that that line is buried in here So when I come through here, I have to be careful. I have to watch out for that propane line That's the only line that we have underground um, At this point, so I'll just be very careful uh, when I dig through here So um, then I'm going to come through here and then it'll come up underneath um, and inside and then I have to dig another trench from this point over to mom and Becky's and the panel box for them is right on this wall inside here so I basically just have to come in here and do it that way for them so that's not a that theirs is going to be easy to to trench that out but uh, so that's what we're that's the game plan for today that's what we're going to be working on so it'll it'll keep me out of trouble I'll get a good workout in and that's a good thing too but um so anyway, I do want to remind people really quickly, um, the sale for the Legacy Freeze-Dried Food on my website, that sale will be ending on Monday. So if you would like to take advantage of that, uh, you go to my website, PrepperNurse1.com. You would click on Store. It will drop down. You will see Legacy Foods, uh, and then you click on Legacy. What they have available right now that you can get um, is highlighted. You'll see it. Um, those are what is available. Those get are getting shipped out really really quickly people that put orders in uh, Last week are already having orders shipping out So they're back on those items back to normal times um, there's some people still waiting from before uh, the, pro the products that are not completely back in yet, but they will be soon uh, Hopefully they'll open up more stuff soon so that uh, you know we do another sale down the road here You guys will have an opportunity uh, to get uh, a different variety of things as well. But uh, I would highly encourage people, if you have thought about adding freeze-dried food to your storage option, um, which you should have freeze-dried food in your storage option, take advantage of this now because they're shipping out so fast. If we have some other crisis spurn up and people panic again, 
uh, it's going to be the same situation that happened back in February and March where product is not going to be available. You'll order and you'll be waiting for a while before that product comes in. So now is a good time to take advantage of that while we have the little bit of a lull in the craziness that's going on in this country. And, uh, you know, so I highly encourage you to do that. Uh, also on my website, we have jdega.com, which is the hemp and CBD store. Uh, if you will, you'll see that the uh, link for that is down below in the description, and my website is also in the description below. Uh, you click on that, they'll take you to their store. If you decide to make a purchase um, for JDega, you just make sure you use the discount code uh, Prepper Nurse One, and it will save you 15% off of your purchase. And that's the number one, not O N E. Okay, so uh, that's. Um, that's what's going on with that. And of course, then we also have the Prepper Nurse One community on my website as well. And uh, if you click on that, you do have to register, but it is totally free. There is no cost. So definitely take advantage of that as well. Uh, we set that up for you guys so that you could, uh, you know, connect with like-minded people, read the message boards, um, whatever you want to do in there, uh, that would be your choice. But uh, it's a great resource that we made for you. Uh, a lot of people were asking, you know, how do I connect with like-minded people? So that's why we set that up. So anyway, um, that's what's going on with that. So definitely take advantage of that. All right. Uh, I want to do one clarification here. Um, I've had a bunch of people jump on me last night when I talked about entitlement programs and Social Security being a entitlement, uh, an entitlement program, okay? Uh, myself included, I've been paying into Social Security since I was 14 years old um, when I got my working papers and I was working for a farmer bailing hay. So I understand a lot of people have paid into that system, but there's a lot of people, my friends out there, that uh, have not paid into that system and are collecting Social Security, all right? Uh, they may not be collecting as much as somebody that paid a lot more into the system, but they are still collecting, and a lot of young people are collecting Social Security. So they definitely, in my opinion, haven't put into the system, but they're taking out of the system. That's why I did call that an entitlement program. I hope that clears that up. Um, somebody was like, you know, I've paid into it my whole life, and, you know, it's not an entitlement. Granted, for, for most of us that have worked our butts off our whole life, no, it's not an entitlement, okay? And wait a minute. There she is. Hi, Ma. Here. <laughs> so she's 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 playing a supervisor role. Uh, she likes to pretend she's a, a manager for a town. So she likes to be a supervisor. We and we all know what the supervisors do, right? They watch. Sit. Yeah, they sit sit and watch. <laughs> the only thing missing right now is she doesn't have a beer in her hand. But we'll, we'll I promise you, I will rectify that. I'll give her a beer here in a little bit. But. Uh, no, it's a, it's a good day. It's cooler here today at the homestead. It's about 73 degrees, and so it's not a bad day as far as temperature-wise. So doing this now, it's not, it's not horrible, but it's still, it's hot, and it's not fun. But like I said, I'll get it done. <laughs> so like I said, this part here is going to be the longest. This part is going to be, um, you know, because I, I have that much started, and I still have all of this to do. So I'm not looking forward to that. But we'll get it. It'll get done. And actually, once I get over into here, um, this is the, the gravel and stuff that we just put down. I'll go through this like butter. This will be easy. So that's not going to be a problem. And I'm kind of looking forward to getting to that part, point. But in the meantime, we will just continue to do what we're doing. But uh, So that's what's happening here at the homestead right now. And uh, I just wanted to share that with you guys. So Brian is going to be coming um, again, like I said today. Uh, we did get the other components. So actually we are going to be able to, and I wanted to talk about this real quick. So let me turn this on. Uh, let's see. All right. Um, we are going to be able to hook up all eight together. Okay. So we're not separating them four and four. And I'll explain everything as we get it done and get it in here. Uh, so just so everybody knows exactly what's happening. But now see it's overcast and cloudy. We're still pulling in 170 watts on this side, and we're pulling in 80 watts on this side. So we're still pulling in power, which is good. Uh, you know, so that's going to be a good thing. But uh, we'll get everything set up, and I'll kind of explain it as we when we do it. And uh, so it'll be it'll be better. But uh, we'll get it done today, and it'll look good. And he's going to clean everything up. Uh, that's going to come off the wall. These are going to come off the wall. Uh, so there's actually we got a, a new box that's going to go in so everything is going to look completely 
different when we're all said and done. It'll be all cleaned up and look nice. And uh, so that's what's happening. But uh, I'm looking forward to having the other three batteries hooked up as well. Um, honestly, and it sounds terrible, but uh, the former issues that we were having, we are not having those issues anymore. It's amazing when uh, you don't have somebody not doing the right thing and draining your batteries, how you don't have those issues. So we've had no issues uh, since that point. And obviously mom and Becky are here full time now, and you would think with the extra draw of power, but it's not bad. Um, we realistically have, like you've, saw, you've seen my mother's refrigerator, I have the same exact refrigerator, and Heather's uh, little college refrigerator is plugged in as well. So we actually have three refrigerators plugged in all the time. So it's not like, you know, and there's, there's been, since that monstrosity refrigerator is gone, we've had absolutely no issues since then. So that's a good thing. But, uh, so there we are. Um, so anyway, guys, I'm going to jump off here so I can get back to work. Oh, i got to show you. And little Miss Rosa is not a happy camper. Um, oh, i got to show you what I did, too. I didn't show you this. So yesterday, I will show you this real quickly. So here's Rosa's locked in with the... The other dogs now okay so the old fence was here if you guys remember and because margie's building was coming in i had to move the fence back and i re dug it and put it over there well the um one piece of rebar uh that was here i was having it was it, this was all floppy and not good and it was never connecting good over here um in the whole nine yards so what i did yesterday uh, afternoon, I dug out this hole. Put actually, I put the second rebar in so they can't slide through there. Um, I can actually take this one out of here now, and I will. Um, but uh, so I put that second rebar in there as well. Put some stones in the bottom, and this was not quickcrete. This was the regular concrete. Um, I mixed that up, put that in there, and I put it higher. Okay, as you can see. So now there is a gap, a little gap underneath here, and I did that on purpose so that it's not sitting directly on the ground this time. And this works absolutely fantastic. Um, and I'm, I'm real happy. I see, like, she's not happy about being stuck in there. What happened, Rose? You locked up with the other puppies? What's up? You don't like that? You're okay. Oh, I know. This dog is used to being up my sister's behind 24-7. So Becky put her in here. I did not. So, but uh, so she's like she's got to get used to being with the other dogs, and uh, that's how it is. So, but uh, so that's that's how that is set up now. So that's all redone. Um, it needed to be redone. So yeah, she's trying to push her way through. She's, it's not going to happen. So, but um, much better, much more secure. So I'm really happy about that. Um, but I did that last night. <laughs> so anyway, um, I'm going to jump off here for now, guys, so I can get this done. I will do another video later today. Uh, to show you what we got done, explain everything uh, once Brian's here and what, what what's happening, okay? So anyway, remember, we are all in this together. That is important to remember. Also remember to hug and kiss the ones you love. Tell them every single day. Tomorrow is not guaranteed. We never know what's going to happen in life. Also remember, guys, STD. It's one step at a time, one thing at a time, and one day at a time. Whatever you're trying to accomplish, whatever you're trying to do, um, you can do it. The only person that's going to stop you from getting there is you. That's it. Nobody else can stop you. Uh, stay positive. Stay away from that negativity, and you guys are going to be just fine. Okay? I will see you all later today. I hope everybody's having a great Saturday. Uh, hopefully, your guys are continuing to make progress as well with whatever projects or things that you're working on. Um, stay positive, guys. Keep prepping. I will talk to you all later. Prepper Nurse 1, out for now.